Hi, this is Kiwi Author here. I just wanted to give a video blog on the election of the Holy Father. So as you know, we've now got Saint uh, Pope Francis. And isn't that wonderful that we have an Argentinian uh, Pope? And it's fantastic for the whole of South America. Now, I was actually hoping that we would either get someone for Asia, for example, or Africa, or uh, South America, because we could really see that South America really needed um, a great boost. And if I'm looking a little bit um, under the weather, it's because I've had the flu yesterday. So, But this isn't about me. This is about Papa. And so it's fantastic that we have Pope Francis. And we could really see that if you look up any of the reports about him, it's really exciting. But first, I'm going to just talk to you about how the uh, when he was it was on TV this morning and how excited and you know there was that uh, not apprehension but the excitement of you know who is this next pope going to be and so when we uh, discovered that it was Pope um, Francis one it's great to to hear that name and I could just you know we all had that excitement when the we were waiting for well first we saw the uh, the white smoke and then we were waiting for uh, the, uh, the first view of who it would be and the announcement of who it would be and praise God that it could happen before my work was due and uh, also that I only have to walk, walk for like three minutes so I was able to sort of uh, view and witness that as part of history which is fantastic and the uh, so it was quite uh, it was exciting and I see it really as a boost for uh, South America, which I think is fantastic. And it's great seeing those reports with the uh, those that are from South America, so sort of claiming them as their own, being from Latin America, which is just wonderful. And it's exciting that it's the first time in a thou over a thousand years that it's been anybody from outside of Europe that has been elected as the a Pope. And and when we look into his character, it's actually very exciting because we see he's a very humble man. When you already can see on reports that he was someone that, uh, when he was archbishop, he shunned like the papal, not the papal, but the uh, like a palace and the really nice digs as an archbishop, just to live as an apartment outside the city. And then when he was going to go into work, he would go by bus, and it's like part of being in touch with the people. And I thought that was a really wonderful gesture. And it's kind of like Archbishop Tagle, who's very similar, that he also would travel to work by bus or, or by cycle. And it really shows someone who's in touch with the people. And we can really see he's got a heart for the poor as well, because as you can see in reports, he, he would stand up for the poor against the government, including the poor within the womb, because he's very pro-life. And that's really exciting. And I think it's really good that he's a Jesuit. So there could, the jury might be a little bit out still whether he's um, chosen the name Francis as part of Francis, St. Francis of Assisi in, in respect of him, or if it's in relation to the founder of the Jesuits, which is, or co-founder, should I say, which is St. Francis Xavier, which is actually the patron saint of my home parish in Wangarei here in New Zealand. And so I think it's an exciting times that we're in. And as we can always see that the church is often in um, need of renewal. And we can see throughout the history of the church, we've had church councils where the, the church, those councils have been called just to renew the church. So maybe we'll see another uh, council within a very short amount of time. I sure hope we do, because the church is in need of renewal. And it's and as, uh, who was it? One of the saints, um, I think it might have been St. Therese, but not 100% sure, but there's one of the... Uh, I think it was Therese of Lazarus was talking about renewal in the heart of the church. And so I think that's wonderful that we can have renewal. And what I'd love to see is is to see uh, bishops as well as priests really standing up for the faith and standing up against those that will challenge the Catholic faith. And those challenges we get are, are those that don't believe, and that includes within the church, 
don't believe that what we have within the Catholic Church, what has uh, been taught to us, is actually what they say is there's a saying and it's what the new catechumens say. And that's that, do you believe that everything that you are taught in, um, is, has been revealed by God? It's sort of like everything the Catholic Church believes, teaches, and professes is taught by God. And I just had to remember that one. And so that's something that's really, really needed um, today because we have Catholic politicians, and especially in the States, that are so willing to and not even politicians, but personalities such as, you might have Melinda Gates, for example, that will actually challenge the church and say to the church, you're wrong in relation to uh, contraception, but sorry, Melinda, you're the one that's wrong. And so we need people to be authentic. And if they don't understand, or sorry, if they challenge the teachings of the church and won't, submit in the sense of actually trying to learn why is the church teaching this having an open mind and even that willingness to say yes the holy spirit is guiding the catholic church the magisterium the church is taught on this so much and in such uh, unity then i submit and i don't understand it for example but i submit to the teaching of the church because the church is being guided by God because God promised the Holy Spirit to be with his church until the end of time. So it's going to be a time, I think, that as Catholics, we've got to be more courageous and we've got to study more of our Catholic faith. So I'm Kiwi author and there's books by me on the internet. You can check out my other uh, links on here. But I'm very happy that we have a new Pope and I'm delighted that it is this um, Pope Francis. So viva la papa and God bless and be good everybody.